Hello everyone, today we're doing a sewing project part two. All right, so we are going to do our actual first seam sewing today, all right? So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's see. Okay, so, since everything is in my frame, because it is crooked. All right, so, here I have my nice little pouch that I put my button on already. And today we are going to be using our pins and as well as our needle. Okay, so just a quick review from yesterday. We take our thread. Oh, you can't really see the thread. Wait, eh, you can't really see the thread on the colored one. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and rule number one, expect to lose your needle at least once. Okay. All right, we're going to review one more time. You find the little hole in your needle and you carefully put it in. Try one. Oh, get in there, try two. Oh, try three, I got it in three tries. Okay, the thread goes in, then you start pulling. Remember, we want, we want it to be nice and thick. Okay, I am not doing a button today. I am doing a seam, so I'm gonna wanna do a little bit more than um, what I did yesterday, but you also have to remember that um, you can always, if you run out, you can just, you know, sew another, like get another bit of thread and do a knot and sew some more. It's that easy, all right? It's never, with sewing, you can usually always fix it. If you run out of thread, you can um, just tie your, like once you notice, oh no, I'm running out of thread, I'm running out of thread, just go ahead, tie it off and get some more, all right? No reason to stress. So I think I will honestly take about, I don't know, what is this, about a foot? So around a foot of my doubled thread. I pulled it all the way. All right, and I trim it like I did yesterday. All right, move this out of the way. Okay, so I have my maybe less than a foot, but around a foot, okay? I do the same thing I did yesterday wrap it around my finger oops to make a circle and then i put the rest through the hole and i pull and i like to do double knots personally so i do the same thing one more time and i try to make it go to the same knot now i have my knot and it's a little bit bigger if you want you can trim it there we go. Okay, so I've got my knot, I've got this. I am ready to party. So, what I'm gonna do, so I drew in here all these lines. We are only going to do the top today because all the sides, we're gonna do something else. So don't move ahead and think, oh, I know what I'm doing. Just only do the top today on both, okay? So, what we're gonna do is you are going to bend your material right on the line here. So I drew this line and you're going to bend the material down and you're going to start pinning, all right? So with this, as you can tell, I didn't cut things perfectly because I don't have to. Ow, I just poked myself. Ooh, that was a good one, be careful, okay. So you're gonna bend it, cause my line is decently straight here. So I'm gonna bend it. And what I'm gonna do is on my line, you only wanna do a little bit at a time. And I'm going to go ahead, put my pin through, and then make it come back out. So there's my pin. It's sitting there and my material is not going anywhere. Let me do it again. Okay, 
I try to make my line nice and straight. Okay, here's the end of this pin. Don't get poked. I'm going to put my pin in after I folded it. It goes out this, the, uh, to the front. And then you're going to bend it and pull it out there. Now I've got two pins and a nice straight line. Okay, and for mine, I only need one more. You guys might need four for yours, but I make sure it's nice and straight. Yep, see my edge is not crisp. Like right here, I can tell, ooh, Miss Heather did not cut straight, but that doesn't matter as long as my line here is nice. Okay, and I've got my last one. Push through, and then push my material. Okay, so my line here is nice and straight. Okay, so here I have pinned the top seam. I take my needle and my thread, I've got it ready. Whenever you start a project, you always want to put the beginning of your project, like where you where your needle or your excuse me, where your knot is, where people won't see it. So for this, am I gonna start out here so then everybody can see my knot? No. You try to start things where people won't see. So here I'm gonna start right on the edge. And I'm gonna put my first my very, yeah, make sure I get it close, my very first sew right on the edge, okay? And I'm going to pull through, okay? So careful once you're holding this to not, try, try not to poke yourself. If it happens, it happens, but sure try, okay? So then now all you're going to do, I've put my first seam in, now you're going to Go right here, right next to it, and push it toward the inside. Go slow. There we go. My first little tiny blue stitch. All right. Now the trick is to have this look nice. Go slow and try to go straight. All right. All right. That looks pretty straight. Er, er, er. But look, my thread is already getting eh, messed up, so I gotta pull it. So this project, ugh, this project might take you a little while, and that's okay, because this is literally, we're doing like what, two other things today? Okay. So once you start going nice and slow, start pulling. Okay. Once you get around halfway, let me go a little bit more. They don't have to be super close, but you definitely want to keep them. Oops, almost poked myself. Definitely want to keep them orderly. Okay, yeah, see, mine's a little crooked, but that's okay. I'm trying to not poke myself. So then now I've gone halfway through my pin, so now I can pull my pin out and the material is stuck down. Yay! So now I don't have to get worried about poking myself with that pin, but don't take the pin out too early. All right, it's all about, you wanna make sure, yeah, you wanna make sure that you don't poke yourself as well as try to keep all of your thread straight and try, I know you're, you might catch on the button, I almost caught on mine. Okay, so there's my seam from the outside. This is what people are gonna see on the outside and that's okay. This is just a little project. It's okay if it's not perfect. Just making little tiny seams, push in through the back. Slightly pull, push in at the front. And pull, making sure, oh, look at that, my thread. So whenever that happens, do not yank your thread. Just slightly, gently, 
you can gently pull it or a lot of times I stick my needle through and I gently pull it so then now it's straightened out. Okay, and I gently pull again. There you go. All right, so all you do with this is you just keep going until you are done. Mine's going to be a lot shorter because it's smaller, but it's not by much. Ow, poked myself. Try not to poke yourself too much. All right. This is all I'm doing. I'm just going slow and steady, trying to make a straight line. Okay, and I'm halfway through my pin, so I can pull it out. Okay, now if you do something like you forget, because you have to go in in the right direction. So, see right now, my thread is sticking from the front. So normally, I would need to put it in through the front. But if I forgot for some reason and I started going in toward the back, it wouldn't go. You would have your thread like this. Your thread would be up at the top. So if that happens, don't worry. Just pull it out. That's one good thing about sewing is most of the time you can always fix it. And if you can't fix it, just cut it out and start over. It doesn't take that long. And depending on, oop, that was a little high, that's okay. And depending on how perfect you want your project, Miss Heather has never been about the perfect project. I just like to have fun and get things started. Okay. All right, and I'm on my last pin, going careful through. It's in this side, so I'm going to push out from this side. Oh, I think I did just the right amount of thread. Oops, look at that. i got to be careful. Go slow, Mrs. Heather. Okay, and I'm halfway through my last pin, but it is right on the edge, so I might do one or two more. It's all about how you're feeling as far as, well, will this stay? Ah, just one more is good. All right. Oh, I want to make sure you can see it. I want to see it, but you need to see it too. Oh, there it is again. Ugh. There we go. All right, and I'm nearing the end. I think I'll just do one more right at the very end. Oh, oh, but I didn't get any material from the other side. Got to make sure I get both layers of material with every sew. All right. So now the important thing is that the end of your sew, the thread and the needle need to be on the inside part. Remember, we don't want anybody to see our, our knots or anything. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did last time with my button. All right. You can just get one layer of material. So like if I just only want to make my knot on just the one back layer, I don't, I don't want anything to show on the front. So I can just stick my needle just toward the back layer and yeah, I got kind of a longer string. I have my hole and I stick my needle through the hole and pull and I made a little knot. I always like to do it two times, do a couple of threads. There we go. I pull gently and I have my hole and I stick my needle through the hole. All right. And that's it. My thread has made a seam. How does that look? Pretty good. I have a cute, nice little seam. It's not perfect by any means, but it looks cute. All right, it's okay if they're not straight. It's okay if they're, you know, kind of wonky. And that's, that's kind of the fun part of sewing because every person puts their own touch on their sewing. All right, and so be careful when you trim. Don't get, make sure, yep, I'm good. And I trim it. All right, and that is how you sew a seam. Be careful with the pins. And you are going to do it with both, all right? So I only did it with one, because so I don't want to waste your time on this video. If you always need to rewind, you can, but you're going to do it with both, all right? So go slow, 
only do the tops. Today is only the tops, all right? Tomorrow we will be finishing the rest of our bag, okay? All right, guys. Good luck. Go slow. Let me know if you have any questions. And I'll, I want to see the tops of your bags today at Zoom, okay? All right. I love you. Bye.